Well, welcome to day two of the TCLP Alumni Virtual Conference. If you were here yesterday, welcome back. Uh, we're so excited to introduce our two speakers for today. Um, so here is our agenda for day two of the conference. Uh, first, we're going to hear from alumni Chen Man Man, who uh, is a teacher from the 2015 cohorts. And we'll have some time for questions and answers at the end. And then we'll hear from Chu Bing Bing, who uh, is an alumni from 2014 to 2015. And we'll also have time for questions and answers at the end of that. Chen Man Man and Chu Bing Bing both uh, oversaw some very impressive projects in their home countries in China. Um, also joining us today is Don from the Rello office who uh, helped out with their project. So feel free to ask her any questions in the chat. Um, and before we start, we'd also like to thank the Department of State uh, for funding this program and uh, for funding these projects as well, because I believe both of these projects are made possible through CLP grants from PCLP. So let's start out by introducing our speakers for today. Chen Man Man, um, like I said, oversaw a project in her home school district. She, uh, she, is, she works at Nanjing, oh, sorry. Move this out of the way. She has a BE, BA in English from Nanjing University and a degree in English literature for also from Nanjing Normal University. And she's an English teacher at Nanjing For Foreign Language School. Uh, she taught in Massachusetts at Walsh Middle School. And her second speaker today is Chu Bing Bing, who is from Heilongjiang province. Uh, she has a degree in English from Suzhou Railway Teachers College and a master's of education in English from Harbin Normal University. And she teaches English at Jia Musi Number no. 8 Middle School. And um, she taught at Coulter Elementary School in Houston, Texas. So welcome to you both. And before we start out today, um, I also want to let everyone know if you weren't here yesterday, TCLP has a new social media initiative called TCLP Makes a Difference. So we are going to invite all of our alumni to create videos for us that we will share on social media. Uh, the point of these videos is to talk about what kind of differences did you make in your schools while you were on program, while you were teaching in the United States. So before we start out with our first presenter, Man Man, I'd like to share one of those videos. We have a wonderful video from one of our alumni from a few years ago. Let's just pull that up just a moment. This is a video from uh, from Mohammed El Dwini, who taught at John Lavelle Preparatory Charter School. So, if you're interested in finding these videos, just go to YouTube and type "TCLP makes a difference." Okay, here you go. <clears throat> Hello, marhaba, ni hao. My name is Mohammed Adwini, and I made a difference at the John W. Level Preparatory Charter School, Staten Island, New York, by completing a CLP grant to spread the word of studying Arabic at school and in the community. Bye. So if you would like to create your own video, we'll have time at the very end um, for you to share how you made a difference in your schools. Okay, so back to the presentation. We're going to start out first with Chen Man Man. So let me just pull up, Man Man, I'm going to pull up your slides. And in just a second, we're gonna give, Man Man will give you some remote control and we will unmute you.
Okay, man, man, can you can you hear us? Yeah, I can hear you clearly. Thank you, Samantha. Thank you. Hi, everybody. Uh, my name is Chiman Man from Mandarin Foreign Language School, Shilin Campus. And I'm very glad to meet you here. And thank TCLP to give me this chance to share this experience of my collaboration with Lily. Uh, I hope it will be a little help to your, to your program. So first, I'd like to talk about how did this idea come out. Uh, so here are two pictures of me and Lily. So actually, I think uh, Lily, was, uh, Lily is working in uh, Shijiazhuang, a city I had never got the chance to go before uh, the program. So I think if we are not join, uh, if we didn't join TCLP, maybe we won't have the chance to get to know each other. But now we are very close friends. We receive the training together, we share our teaching experience together, and we even share the room in the hotel in Washington, D.C. <laughs> so in 2015, in February, when Lily came to visit me in Boston, uh, that is about like seven months later after we first arrived in America, we shared our experience naturally. So Lily said, what impressed me most is the way that my host school to do PD, uh, that is to say personal development. Uh, I think you're more familiar with its Chinese name, Jiao Yan, right? So uh, I also introduced the way of PD in my American host school, Walsh Middle School. Lily was very interested. And she asked if I would like to share this experience in her school in China after we return back. So I accepted her invitation without any hesitation. Uh, uh, Samantha, I cannot use the remote control. Oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah, thank you. So I downloaded just two pictures on, online. I think most of us are very familiar with this. Uh, that might be the most usual way for us to do our PD, Jiao Yan. So maybe mostly we're just uh, giving lectures or something like demonstration classes. So the advantages of our PD is that a lot of teachers can take part in it at the same time. But the disadvantages is most of the teachers just get a chance to listen and watch. They cannot get involved in it. So, uh, can you help me to get another page? Thank you. So, this is the PD in my school. We can see that we are in a very beautiful school hall and we have very good equipment, but still giving lectures. So uh, when I get back to China, I hope that they can try something new. Um, next one. <laughs> Thank you. So um, on September the 14th, 2016, uh, the workshop took place in Lily School, uh, Shijiazhuang Number no. 1 Senior Middle School. About uh, about uh, 300 teachers from more than 10 major schools in uh, Shijiazhuang took part in this workshop. And I introduced the way of PD that my host school in Walsh Middle School uh, use in Lily's school. So this, the purpose of this PD is to help them with the problem that they have in their teaching. Um, so I just put uh, desks into four groups. When the teachers came in, they just set in four groups naturally. The groups are divided. And then I asked them to write down the problems that trouble them the most um, on a big sheet of paper. And then I divide these uh, problems into four topics. First one is the problem in teaching. And the second one is the problem of uh, relationship with the parents. Third one is the teacher's own development in their career. And the fourth one is the class management. Um, well, in each topic, I collect more than five uh, different questions. Then I put up each, um, each topic on four corners. 
and each group just pick one part um, and then try to give out any idea or solutions to any of these problems on the paper. Then rotate until the groups, all the groups give out their advice. Um, then each group took one piece of paper, came back to their desk. They can eat and drink, but the most important part is they have to discuss a summary, to make a summary uh, for this part of problems and they share the possible ways to inspire others. So in my opinion, some of the problems, especially in teaching, sometimes cannot be solved. Even sometimes um, one specific solution served one problem, but it doesn't mean it can be copied to another student. So that is also the reason, but that is also the reason that why we have to keep trying. In this case, I think it's a very good way to help us um, to, to try another way to solve our problems in teaching. We can get very important treasure in our teaching career, so someone calls uh, experience. So, uh, can we get into next page? So if you think uh, that's all for this workshop you are run, actually uh, Lily invited five different uh, teachers to host five different rooms. She also invited two American teachers from my school to introduce American teaching method and the class management. And she also uh, invited a Chinese professor to give lectures about reading uh, strategies. Mm. There are about 300 teachers uh, took part in this workshop. And they are divided into five different groups and they came in, they rotate to come into different rooms uh, to experience different topic and took part in different activities. Um, according to the survey after the workshop, most of the audience like the workshop and they think it is very helpful uh, to their teaching and they hope to join, uh, they hope to have more chance to take part in this kind of activity in the future. So I think our collaboration is very successful. Um, and I have some suggestions advice for next slide yes thank you <laughs> got ahead of you thank you i have some advice for you so first remember tcrp is much more than a one year problem you can uh, you can get a lot of support help from tcrp for example i think at first lily got uh, two foreign teachers just from, uh, with the help of TCLP. So second advice is use all the resources that can help. So do not put all the pressure on your shoulder. So you can get uh, help from maybe your principal, your head teacher, even sometimes maybe from your students, but use all the resources that can help. And the third one I think is very important. Um, you have to plan very carefully, uh, just like Lily. I think she did a lot of work for the workshop. Uh, from uh, She has to uh, confirm everyone's timetable, like all the tickets. She, she booked all the tickets, hotels, and contact uh, the, uh, all the principals, even the supervisors. And uh, she also... Uh, invite all the teachers. Uh, so I think first you have to plan very carefully, very detailed, because uh, if any of the place you, you got run, that might, might be a big trouble. But even you plan very carefully, you always, you have to be uh, careful about your plan B. For example, uh, Lily contacted the two foreign teachers very early in the plan, but uh, they still cannot come. Uh, and the time of the workshop is so close. And she called me and we tried to figure out how to fix it. So at last, I invited two foreign teachers from my school, uh, which also 
make my authority, my principal, a little bit annoyed because uh, that is to say four teachers leave at the same day and more, day, more than one, they have to leave more than one day. And that um, affects our, our uh, teaching in my school a little bit. So but, so, but I'm very glad that things are fixed. And uh, the last advice is anything good for teaching will be a great project. Sometimes when we thinking about uh, to make a project, we think we have to do something great, something big, something really important. But in my opinion, I think maybe sometimes a little tiny thing, that which is good for teaching, uh, also can be a good project, I think. Thank you. Thank you so much, Yan Yan. Uh, if anyone has any questions for, for Mamian, you can uh, take them to the chat window. I think that was a really good example of, uh, this project is such a great example of the multiplier effect that you have as teachers. Mamian, you mentioned that there were 300 teachers that attended this training. So think about yeah. how many students those teachers have in their classes. So think about the, the beneficiaries beyond the teachers who were uh, benefiting from your training sessions, from the training sessions, from all the uh, all of the trainers. Here. So that's that's a really great thing to keep in mind. Um, so um, go ahead and type your questions in the chat window if you have any for Man Man. Uh, and I think Lily is also on here too. If you'd like to ask her any questions as well. Um, Man Man, I have a question for you. How did you and Lili and the teachers you worked with, how did you decide what kind of topics you wanted to, to teach or you wanted oh. to train all the attendees on? Well, I think it just start with uh, chatting. Like we chat with each other, like what is the most, um, how do you say, what impressed you most when you were in America? So Lily think it's about the PD, the uh, way of personal development in America that is so different. Like uh, teachers do not just listen and watch. Everyone get involved and they have step by step to solve uh, maybe just one problem, but they get the things uh, very organized and they get the, the, the way very effective. So I also shared uh, the way of PD in my school. And we think that's a very good way to introduce that to, in China. Great. And I really like uh, the, the four quarters activity that you did during that time <laughs> where you gave the, the chance to share what are they struggling with in their classrooms? What are the challenges they face? And actually gave, kind of gave them ownership of, what, of their, what they were learning. So I think that's a great activity. I think it was a very good activity because um, I, when I give them, uh, uh, when I, like in the workshop, when I give them like four corners, actually uh, I make them feel like, oh, we can do PD like this. Not sit in one place, but we go place from one corner to another corner just to solve different problems. And I even tell them like, uh, you can also try to use this in your class, not only just PD, but it's also very effective in teaching. And I can still remember that one teacher asked me, like, uh, so if I'm doing a reading class, can I use four corners? I think, yes, why not? If you have any question that you, if, if you have anything that you want your students to discuss, and especially the question is not about right or wrong, they do not have standard answer. They are, uh, they should, something like, argue with each other, they, they can share their different opinions. Four Corner is a very good way, very effective way to do that. And he asked me like, um, how could a problem that I give student do not have a standard answer? And he thinks like all the questions he asks should be an answer. And I tell him like, I don't think so. I don't think so. I think sometimes like in the uh, in your class, maybe some of the questions, some of the problems, you can give them, just ask them to think. Maybe uh, they just give out opinions. 
Yeah, it is, it is a shift in thinking as a teacher giving the students, or even if your students are teachers, giving them the chance to not just answer a question, but really discuss it, think about it. Yeah. Okay. So we did have one question from Mr. Abdel Hadi, who asked how were the, uh, how, how were the number of uh, teachers trained at the same time? Um, so they, they rotated around different workshops, correct? And they, were, yes. and they were from different and they schools? Rotate. Because we have five rooms and we propelled five different teachers, five different topics. So if you get like 200 in one classroom, and I think it's very, also very hard for them to do four corners. So, yeah. yeah. So if they come just like uh, 30 or 50, we can do that. Uh, another question from me. Uh, okay, Mama, did you at the end bring everybody, the 200 together to see what was the result or uh, they just rotated between the groups, between the, the different workshops? Oh, uh, actually, uh, the 300 teachers uh, rotate into, get into five different classrooms. We have five different uh, hosters in five different rooms. And in my classroom, uh, when they do four corners, they have to rotate again. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so we're about ready for our next presenter, Chi Bing Bing. So let me switch to her slide. Bing Bing, we're going to go ahead and give you the microphone now. So get ready. So glad to see we have so many people here today. So now I need to find where Bing Bing's name is. OK, Bing Bing, you're unmuted. Can you introduce me? OK, Bing Bing, I'm going to try to give you uh, remote control access so that you can go through your slides. Yeah, so uh, my title is How to Make Our Projects uh, More Successfully. You can see the pictures of uh, our projects. The first is uh, Ms. Sun Qi from uh, uh, the, our project, the, the first uh, lecturer. The second is uh, Ms. Xing Ah Li. The third is me, Chi Bing Bing. The fourth is Kevin, is Sprunge. Uh, now, uh, you see, we um, uh, uh, held the project um, in March, uh, March 22nd and March 23rd. Uh, overall, the project is uh, successful. Um, for the love and appreciation to CCRP, we will apply the project. I spend days and nights to preparing, printing, and connecting with each other. Uh, now, um, I think uh, we did uh, our best to make our projects uh, uh, more successful. So I hope uh, every alumni will be more successful too. And then, uh, first, uh, um, uh, it's my uh, resume. It's, uh, yeah, uh, it, it's my alum, yeah. Uh, I'm from Heilongjiang province. In fact, uh, we three from Heilongjiang province. Uh, now I was an uh, exchange teacher of TCRP in Houston, Texas uh, in year 2014 and 2015. And our title of uh, therapy project is Effective and Attractive English Teaching Workshop. So we uh, taught, we trained teachers instead of students. And uh, you'll see, uh, before the project uh, um, going, uh, we just uh, made uh, every preparations. Uh, first, uh, we negotiated with uh, our leaders. Uh, since it's a uh, large project, uh, we uh, must ask the help from our uh, leaders of uh, the um, Foreign Affairs Office of Jams Education uh, Bureau, and uh, as well as uh, uh, Beijing Railroad. Uh, you see, we can get to uh, Mr. Yuzia's uh, promise to ask uh, to help and support us to get the support from uh, uh, Huanan and uh, Tangyuan uh, Education Bureaus. And uh, we can 
uh, print our WhatsApp paper and email them or uh, give them. So uh, we got uh, um, more than 200 uh, um, paper back, so paper back, and uh, about 100 from the email and uh, from Ken uh, 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 L. Uh, method we got them to get the feedback of the teachers. At first, uh, they knew um, only 18% of teachers know our program on TCLP. And after our project, 100% uh, uh, of me, all of them know our TCLP program and uh, our ideas. And you see, at the beginning, we just uh, prepared for 200 teachers, uh, but at uh, last, in fact, we have 360 English teachers, leaders, and photographers came. So there's no doubt our workshop was warmly welcomed. Our workshop was reported by Sam's TV on March the 28th, 2017, and by Tangyuan TV and the Huanan TV on March 29th, 2017. And um, the 360 English teachers learned about methodologies uh, and the practice practices from the English language follows. Uh, and um, about something about TCRP, uh, they will um, put them into the use in the future. And um, the direct um, beneficials of the workshop are about uh, uh, three 30 schools in the region. And the long-term Benefits, uh, benefits are the tens of thousands of students in these 30 schools and even more. That's, we think we are uh, somewhat uh, successful. And uh, uh, you see, uh, this is our workshop uh, agenda. Uh, we begin uh, from uh, 8 in the morning and until um, about uh, um, 3 in the afternoon. And um, uh, we must um, shift from one um, city to another city. I mean, uh, we must uh, drive to another city. Yeah, you see that there are two cities with the same agenda. And um, uh, Ms. Sun Qi, Ms. Qin Ali, and me give the general introduction of TCLP Americans and the teaching in America. And um, two English language fellows, uh, fellows give us uh, the practices uh, and the methodologies about English teaching, about uh, speaking and effective classrooms. And um, Ms. Sun Qi, Ms. Qin Ali, and me also uh, share some of effective and attractive teaching methods with uh, the teachers. That Mm -hmm. I can't move the PPT to the next page. So, would you please? There you go. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Uh, mm, uh, I think it's too quick. Yeah. This one? <laughs> yeah, 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 that's it. Okay. Yeah. We're moving um, it back. <laughs> Our challenge is uh, now uh, maybe uh, more than four, but uh, I think uh, this four may be the most uh, important. My first uh, thing, uh, you see, uh, at the beginning, we just applied for, uh, you see, uh, at the most, we, we can apply for $3,000. So we applied for $3,000, but uh, it was uh, <laughs> rejected <laughs> because it's too much and uh, we just uh, uh, mm, mm, cut something uh, we just uh, cut mm, mm, you see our, our agenda we just uh, arranged in Tangyuan and uh, Huanan instead of Jiangsi uh, um, mm, there are mainly two re reasons the first is if we cut it into 2000 it will be more successful if we applied to the projects so we have advantages. The second is Ms. Sin Ali said she may uh, apply um, maybe some kind of projects like that in the future for Jiangsu. So we, we, we can <coughs> cut it um, in Jiangsu. So we just uh, prepared for two days only in Tangyuan and uh, uh, 
uh, Huanan. And uh, uh, leaders uh, uh, give us much help. You see, um, um, is Wang Hui uh, helped us to find two English fellows from uh, um, Beijing Railo and from Shenyang. Uh, and um, uh, they just uh, free of charge, they just the volunteers come to help us. And then uh, Ms. Yijiawa told him, uh, we have no much uh, extra money to pay for our, uh, 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 maybe uh, other fees. Uh, you see, we just planned 200 people to come, but uh, at last uh, there are more than 350. And uh, uh, we also have, um, uh, teachers, uh, alumni, and uh, uh, English uh, uh, fellows. So we must uh, save as, mu as much as possible. So uh, Mr. Yu Jia drive the car for all of us instead of uh, 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 pay for the extra money. And then this is the learner's English level. Uh, you will find uh, we prepare two kinds of uh, this kind of uh, papers, uh, uh, paper books. Now, one is only in English, uh, it's for the English fellows, and uh, the other is with Chinese, it's for the Chinese teachers, uh, because we have um, some English teachers, even from the village for the kindergarten, they can't um, uh, accept all the ideas and um, methodologies from the English fellows and uh, English uh, other English teachers only in English. It's hard for them to, uh, uh, you see, <laughs> for us uh, for one day to uh, get as much as possible. So we must find it something easier for them. And then uh, the population, as I said, they, they um, they are, you see, oversized uh, than we expected. And uh, organizers and leaders gave us great help. Without Mr. Yu Jia, we can't get support from Jiangsu uh, Education Bureau. Uh, and we can't get the uh, fund from them. We can't get the support from uh, Tangyuan uh, Middle School, Senior High. And we can't get the uh, support from Huanan uh, Education Bureau. So uh, we, we must get uh, the support and help from our education bureaus. And next is uh, advice. Next is, next, next, pro, uh, next page, please. Yeah, advice, yeah. Uh, I think if you want to make your projects more successful, first uh, be more engaged, uh, you see, uh, we only got uh, the uh, the handouts and the uh, pro, uh, PPTs from uh, the English fellows from Shenyang uh, only uh, ten days before our uh, project, uh, be, uh, our presentations. I mean, now uh, you must find the time to uh, print the more. Uh, at the beginning, we printed them uh, 300 uh, um, copies. 300 copies, that means uh, we must uh, uh, print them. And uh, oh, I translated them into Chinese, and uh, I asked the um, publishers to publish them and put them in uh, to see the money. <laughs> we just uh, buy the print, the, the color paper, and uh, print them on, and uh, get the cover, bought the cover for it. And you must uh, spend um, a <laughs> lot of time, uh, including Mr. Yi our leaders, must uh, drive us to the uh, cities, uh, to the two cities, uh, and shift us. And uh, Ms. Ms. Tong Yanju from Shenyang, uh, concert, uh, I mean, uh, from the uh, Consulate General of the United States, Shenyang, uh, counting the demo to uh, help us. And um, we must uh, be more engaged. And uh, to less expectation, uh, you, you, you can't get everything from everybody. So you must uh, 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 expect uh, less, and you will get a good surprise. Next is uh, more communication. 
uh, you should communicate with your leaders, you should communicate with Beijing, communicate with Shenyang, communicate with your alumni, communicate with the teachers. We also, at the end of the uh, each uh, uh, printed book, we get a get a survey paper too to ask uh, uh, what method methodology is uh, they like best. And now uh, we got uh, the feedback from them. And um, for we must arrange carefully and the flexibility. Uh, I mean, uh, at the beginning, we only uh, knew there are about 100 teachers uh, at each city. But at last, uh, it's uh, oversized, so uh, it's a challenge. Uh, you see, I prepared uh, some uh, uh, number paper and uh, for the lottery. Uh, and uh, we just uh, write the numbers, uh, ask uh, the English fellows uh, to draw one for us. And uh, we uh, printed uh, um, about 100 more. So we just uh, prepared the stickers uh, of the number. And uh, if, uh, when we know we have more, um, you see, uh, participants, uh, we prepared uh, the color stickers to uh, put them uh, at the end of each uh, paper and uh, to draw the lottery for the participants. Uh, and then uh, you should be more understanding and uh, grateful. Uh, without the help of <clears throat> uh, and the support of others, uh, we can't provide uh, the excellent projects you see. Uh, now, uh, at the beginning, we just got the fund for 200 teachers. And then um, we have one Mr. Yu Jia told me there are more than 300 teachers uh, who, will, who would come. Uh, I felt frightened and asked him for help. And uh, uh, he decided to, we, 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 I said we have no extra money for more than 200 teachers. He tried and managed to rent and drive a car by himself to save the transport fee. My report to the CRP means uh, Havana said, I mean, Zara agreed to change the leftover for the copies for the extra 100 teacher. It is uh, their support and love made me uh, to uh, be the project leaders and uh, our photographers from Jiangsu bought a train ticket back to Jiangsu when he knew we had no extra uh, seat uh, for him since uh, 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 Tong Yanjun from Shenyang consulted uh, is <laughs> would in the car. And um, next day he drove from Jiangsu to Huanan uh, by himself. And, um, Mm, you see, uh, in, uh, in Tangyuan Senior High, they agreed uh, to offer 60 full lunches uh, for all free and uh, printed uh, extra copies for us uh, since our education bureau can only pay uh, 87 lunches and uh, we can only offer 1,100 RMB for meeting room and water. One is uh, Tong Yanjun asked if we can provide a table tenor instead of a bucket after communicating. Uh, Huanan uh, Pei Li School invited us a big dinner for free, and they also agreed uh, uh, we only pay 2,145 for meeting room water, lunches for 45, and our education bureau needed to pay 80 lunches, and they pay the rest 93 lunches because Mr. Yuan I told them, uh, frankly, that the number of our teachers is about 150 larger than expected. They also connected uh, to the hotel to give us a discount. And then Shenyang Consult supported us a lot too. Ms. Uh, Ms. Um, uh, Tong Yanjun mailed me about uh, 2,000 copies of professional journal to hand out to the teachers. She also managed to apply for the extra pay for Ms. Ballet, since we can only pay 2,020 to Ms. Ballet Hotel. After the workshop, uh, the reporter from Tangyuan TV emailed me that the video she recorded. <coughs> 
has uh, the, was uh, showed on the TV. So many people and things moved me and made me believe love and the dedication makes the world go around. <laughs> That's it. Thank you so much. Hey, thank you, Bing Bing. It sounds like it was a really exciting project. It was a little bit, maybe a little bit larger in scope than you initially thought, but it, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You see, love and uh, support makes the world uh, go around. <laughs> Great. Yeah. Um, so I have a question for you. And if anyone else uh, has questions, go ahead and type those into the chat window. Uh, so, Bing Bing. Um, you cooperated on this project with two alumni, Sun Qi and Xin Yali, but you were not in the same cohort. They were, you know, participated in CCLP in a different year. So how did you connect with Yali and uh, Sun Qi? Uh, you see, it's Mr. Yu Jia, <laughs> our leader. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's uh, his leading. Um, uh, since uh, he is a uh, leader in our education bureau and uh, uh, we three uh, took part in the same program uh, he uh, he is the leader in the foreign affair uh, in education bureau in Jiangsu, and uh, uh, we three from uh, his district and uh, he asked uh, we three to prepare for uh, one project okay so you're all in the same region in the same district yes Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so if there are any alumni that are wondering how, how you can do a project like this, or if you're interested in connecting with other alumni in your regions, um, remember what Ever said yesterday about the ARC, the Alumni Region Connect. Um, there are, at this point, we have many, many different alumni all across the different regions. So if you would like a list of alumni in your area, uh, you can just email us at TCLP and we can get you a copy of that if you don't have it already. Great. So if there's any questions, go ahead and type them into the chat window. Um, yeah, I, had, I, I just want to make a comment about uh, the uh, making modifications for the different teachers that attended your trainings for the different teachers at different English levels. Sometimes I think maybe we forget that although uh, the teachers that you're working with, they might be English teachers talking about pedagogy and about teacher training methods. I mean, that's really high level English. So I think it's really great how you actually took the time to modify your teaching materials or training materials so that it was accessible for all of those teachers. I think there's a lot of little details about your training that you really yeah, yeah. attention. I hope it will be some kind of uh, helpful <laughs> and uh, uh, I hope it will be beneficial maybe for everyone. <laughs> maybe or maybe not. Yeah, I hope so too. So it seems like it was a really, uh, really in-depth project that you did. I'm wondering how long did it take from the initial planning stages until the very end of your uh, your training workshop. How long do you think you spent working on this project? Mm, uh, at the beginning, we just prepared uh, maybe for about 100 teachers since uh, the size is too large to control if it's more than maybe 50, 100, 50, 50, 50 people. And you see we only got uh, prepared for this kind of people. But uh, it's a, a great chance, our leader said. <laughs> if we can't, we can ask the more t the teachers to come in. We might, uh, so we just prepared maybe uh, one month for our own uh, lectures, and uh, maybe only for one week for the um, other uh, things, including the um, printing, including communicating with uh, Shenyang and Beijing, and uh, uh, they just uh, sent uh, us to the PPT and uh, uh, handouts. Great. So there's about a, a month of planning before you actually uh, conducted the conference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, since uh, we only, uh, we three meet each other and um, uh, participate different parts and we divide it into three parts <laughs> so it's easier. If uh, I prepare by myself, it's harder. Great. Um, and if you're paying attention to the chat, Wang Hui called attention to um, 
the model of working with the local education bureau like Ding Ding did, that was obviously a great help because uh, your local bureau is able to recruit teachers from different schools to really amplify the effect of your training. And also working with the Rello office. So you were able to get uh, some really great trainers, English experts to lead some of your trainings. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. You see, Ms. Ms. Xing Ah Li was an uh, uh, interviewer for TCRP this year for 2017. Great. Yeah, so um, go ahead. Yeah, so we said it's a successful year. Great. So if there's any alumni that would like to do a similar project and you're wondering, well, where can I get trainers? to lead the project. Well, you yourselves can be trainers, just like Man Man and Bing Bing did. Um, and if you don't have teachers at, other teachers at your school, like Man Man did, to help with the trainings, you can reach out within your alumni network. You can reach out to the Rello for uh, help from the English Language Fellows. Those are all really great ideas. Uh, Bing Bing, we have one more question from Mr. Abdul Hadi. Can you elaborate, can you talk a little bit more about this last slide where you say less expectations, managing your expectations? Um, now, as you see, we just um, uh, expect uh, Mr. Yu Jiakai help us to ask for the permission from our leaders of our schools uh, and the support from uh, Huanan and Tang Yuan, uh, senior high. Uh, we didn't expect him to uh, you see, uh, come to drive for us. You see, when a leader drive for you in China, is uh, you see, you can't imagine it. It's not in America. And uh, when when he when he said he rent a car for seven people, I said, oh great, it's great. And uh, he said it is uh, it is uh, uh, you see free for us, and uh, he can pay for the uh, oil, <laughs> I, I guess, I, I think it's a, a great, you see, up to our expectation. And uh, uh, one means Wang Hui told us, uh, she asked for the help from Beijing Railo, and uh, we just expect uh, one person. So we just, uh, at the beginning, we just uh, planned a car for five people. So at last, uh, <laughs> she said, uh, she asked the help for two English fellows. <laughs> and uh, uh, everyone can give us one, uh, one and a half an hour uh, lecture. Uh, what we said is, wow, it's great, it's so great. So you, 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 at the beginning, we didn't expect so much. <laughs> so uh, at the end, you will feel it's a good surprise. <laughs> but you, you, you shouldn't expect every uh, project you can get two English fellows <laughs> really from a Beijing Rello. I just, uh, you see, I think so. So it seems like your expectations are actually exceeded, yeah. but yeah. What you're saying is uh, you should plan very carefully to, yeah. to make sure that you can oversee the project yourself. Just, yeah. okay, great. Can I say one thing? Um, this is Zara speaking. Uh, you know, uh, folks, it has been always very intriguing for me to find out in reality uh, how many teachers use what you are training them. Because it takes a lot of courage to move from what they have been doing for the past 10 to 20 years and to take something new and start yeah. to implement some changes in their classroom. And uh, I was wondering, and maybe this is possible or maybe it's not possible, whether you, have, you would consider in future, if you do this type of training, to ask them to videotape a small <coughs> segment from their lesson that where they are using what they learn from your uh, trainings. Uh, it would be really intriguing for you also to watch those videos to see uh, how you have impacted them. And I don't know whether you have done that or no, but if you haven't done, that's fine. Maybe in future, when we do see things like this, it might be worth <laughs> considering this idea. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that would be a great idea to, to take videos, maybe even a, uh, a video, a couple
couple of weeks after the training, maybe a couple of months after the training, just to see the difference. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Bingbing. Okay. So to close out uh, our session today, um, I just want to remind everyone that both of these projects, both Man Man's project and Bingbing's project, they were both made possible through a CLP grant. So if you're interested in doing a similar project, organizing a training for teachers at your school, or even thinking bigger and doing a training for, um, for your districts, uh, remember that you can apply for CLP grants. The next project deadline, the next funding deadline is March 31st, so you have time to start planning now if you like. Um, if you have questions, you can definitely email TCLP staff and we'd be happy to work with you on your idea. Um, if you would like to apply, the application is on the TCLP website of this link. And if you have any trouble opening uh, the link or finding the application, just send us an email and we can help you out. And of course, please reach out to the, the Rello office in China and in Egypt because they are an enormous help to you. They, if you're doing a training, they can help you by by uh, finding trainers for your workshops, and they could also um, give you information about other grants. Okay, lastly, thank you, thank you all for joining us. Before we uh, end with our closing remarks, and of course we wanna make time for videos at the very end, if you would like to create your TCLP makes a difference video. I just want to invite everyone to please take our alumni survey because we are interested in hearing what you've been up to. Um, and if you are interested in doing a training project of your own, please indicate that in the survey and we would love to help you out with that. And remember that you can also send updates to your alumni cohort leaders um, and alumni in your region. So again, if you want to connect with alumni in your region, maybe to collaborate on a CLP or on a training project, uh, just reach out to us and we can put you in contact with alumni in your region. Okay, now I would like to invite Zara to come up here and give some closing remarks. You ready? Yeah. Thank you. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, first of all, I would like to thank you all for participating in this virtual conference. And uh, I would like to thank State Department for providing the funding for this program to make it happen because in reality, you are making a great impact. You all have made a great impact in here, in the US when you were teaching over in your host schools. And you are making a great impact in your home countries. It really makes a difference. TCLP is really making a difference. And the reason that uh, TCLP is making a difference in the US as well as in your home countries is because of you. We are so privileged to have the opportunity to know you and to work with you. Thank you again for participating in this virtual workshop. Thank you for uh, making a lot of contributions in your home schools, in your educational communities. And I know that many of you are still in touch with your uh, host schools, uh, we, I would like to encourage you to keep doing that. Please work closely with your, the US Embassy in China, Egypt, because they have also the resources, uh, as you heard during these two uh, days, the alumni have worked very closely with the Reno office to conduct their programs. And uh, we are very happy that this cooperation brings, makes the impact that TCLP can make in your home countries even bigger. Uh, I would like to thank our great presenters today and yesterday. Uh, thank you for sharing so generously what you have done and thank you for providing advice. I would also like to encourage uh, other al alumni to do similar projects. Uh, you can find the information about the projects that you can try to implement on our website, as well as remember these great uh, presenters during these two days. Uh, I'm sure they will be very happy to share their uh, uh, experience with you if you need to get in touch with them to get some more details because it's hard, but it's doable and it's very rewarding to do this type of project. 
Thank you again, and I wouldn't like to take more time because I want us to take a couple of videos to show how TCLP is making a difference. Thank you.